Are you looking at this amazing scrap rack and thinking to yourself, I don't have room for that? Well, the scrap rack makes room for itself. And that means that you'll have more room to create. Imagine emptying all those boxes and bins and drawers and totes that you're currently digging through into a scrap rack like this one. You'll be able to combine, consolidate, and conquer your supplies. The scrap rack takes up far less room and is faster, easier, and more space efficient than any container system. If you're a crafter that likes to attend craft events, or you're a crafter that doesn't have a dedicated craft space in your home, maybe you're both, containers are nearly impossible, but a scrap rack is easy. Let me show you. Did my scrap rack go? <laughs> right? The mystery is going to be solved for you in a minute. Inside this Office Depot collapsible tote. So this is one of those plastic totes that folds flat for storage, right? So it's ideal. And it's only about $23. So not only is it small and easy to store, it's um, inexpensive. So the Office Depot tote comes with a lid. The lid is imperative. When you're shopping for a tote for storing your or moving your scrap rack around, you need the one with the lid. All I've done is take my spinders off my base unit and stack them and stand them up inside the tote, folded my rack flat, put that inside the tote. Now I'm going to put my rack back together. This is so simple. If you are someone who likes to go to craft events, or as I mentioned, you are someone who does not have a dedicated craft space at home, or if you are like me, over 50 and should be wearing reading glasses to put black things together, all you're going to do is put your scrap rack back together. No, you're going to just take everything out of your tote first and stack it up on the table, whether that's at home or at the craft event, right? Now, I've only got four spinders in here. As you know, maybe you don't know, a scrap rack actually comes with seven spinders. I only have four with me. Pulled out my wings. Now, I'm going to put the lid back on my tote. And I'm going to put my scrap rack on the lid, put my wings back, put my four sections back on. Now, if you're going to an event, you may only want to take a few sections. Maybe you're just working on Christmas cards or sports pictures or something like that. You might not need to take all of your sections with you. was upside down. Now I'm at the event. I've got my tote sitting on the floor next to me. So my scrap rack is right there at chair height. I've got all my supplies organized the same way that they were at home. Maybe I don't have a room at home and I have to pack my scrap rack up and put it in the front hall closet when I'm not crafting. But it was so easy, right? Put everything in the tote, set up your scrap rack, take everything out of the tote, Use the lid of the tote for your table for your scrap rack, at home or away. One of the other cool things about this, especially when we're talking about at home, is that if you scrap at the dining room table and you have this out and you're crafting and it's dinner time, you can just tip this back, roll it out of the way, park it in the corner, have dinner at the table. When you're ready to craft again, just roll it back next to the table. So super functional, super versatile, and very inexpensive way to either store your scrap rack at home or take your scrap rack with you when you go to a craft event. If you need help designing the scrap rack system that's perfect for you, download the scrap rack system design guide. There's a little link to that right at, underneath this video. And that'll walk you through the steps of choosing the scrap rack, the bases, the dividers, the pages, everything you need to set up your own scrap rack system. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Have a great afternoon.